I'm Ian Steckelberg. I'm Tom Gladson. And uh, we're team number eight. Uh, today we are introducing, we're talking about the refrigerated water cooler that we built for our computer here. And like any other person, once we got done building a computer, we want to squeeze out every last little bit of performance, and that means overclocking. Uh, we want to get every single overclock we can, and once you do overclocking, you seem to produce a lot more heat. With that added heat, you definitely need something to remove that heat. Uh, when, when your computer components get really hot, uh, they can definitely cause problems uh, further down the line. And the cold cooler you can keep those parts, the longer they're going to last. It's some uh, less drastic alternatives uh, for chip cooling uh, definitely would be the basic water cooler that most people will implement in their PCs. Uh, instead of using a refrigeration unit, uh, they would just use a radiator which would have uh, fans that would push and pull air through those radiators to keep that water cold. Uh, they definitely will not get the water anywhere near as cold as this system will, and, uh, they, but they can increase the performance of an overclock. Exactly, because those particular systems are limited to cooling down to the room temperature, whereas this can essentially cool until the water actually freezes. Which of course if you not much wanted. lower. Actually. actually, yeah, you could go much lower. Uh, just limiting of your coolant. Yeah. And and how you have the PC built um, to make sure that we kept the PC uh, at a sustainable temperature. We actually have this set up so that it will operate right to the dew point within the room. Uh, inside the PC case, we've set up a <coughs> chip which will actually test for the humidity inside the room along with the actual temperature of the room. Uh, from there we're able to s find the actual dew point and get the water as close to that dew point as possible without causing any kind of unwanted condensation. Um, for the components inside of this build, uh, as of right now there's a full-size compressor from a regular sized refrigerator slash freezer combo. Uh, along with that there's a reservoir in here that holds about a gallon and a half of uh, water or any kind of coolant that you want to put inside the system. As of right now we're running a about 25 to 75 mix of uh, antifreeze to water uh, just so that we do make sure that this can get a little bit below freezing so I don't have problems with uh, my pump actually freezing up due to the really really cold temperatures of that compressor. Along with that we've got an exterior uh, eva evaporator and then on here I set up three different fans so we can make sure that all of the heat gets pulled out of this uh, refrigerator quickly and efficiently. And as of right now it's working really, really well. Um, aside from that, there's a water block inside this PC that takes the cold water from this system and puts it right on top of that CPU so that it'll keep that rather cool. Oh, um, for the electrical components inside this, uh, we used an Arduino board. Uh, on that Arduino board, I also used two different uh, cube, re re cube relays uh, so that we can get that power for this actual compressor, the 120 volts, uh, turned on and off. Uh, along with that, there is a cubed relay that helps me turn on and off my fans over here, um, and one for the actual pumps themselves. So, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put up the flow chart for you. As you can see, the very first thing that happens is you're going to turn on the PC. It's also going to turn on the water pump at the same time. That way you're not starting your computer without actually cooling it. Uh, it's going to go ahead and test the water temperature. Uh, at the same time, it's going to be calculating the temperature and the humidity to get that dew point. Uh, at all times, it's going to go ahead and print that uh, to the LCD screen. Um, if that temperature at any time becomes 10 degrees or higher, of that of the dew point, it's going to go ahead and kick on the compressor, uh, assuming that it's not already on. Um, and it's going to continue checking until it becomes the temperature of the dew point. Once it does that, it's going to go ahead and turn the compressor off. off. As of right now, the results of this project, uh, we've definitely seen a much improved or much increased thermal capacity of this PC. Uh, I've been able to overclock it to some pretty severe, uh, pretty extreme overclocks for this specific chip. A lot of overclocks. A lot, a lot of overclocks. And uh, with those overclocks come uh, not only uh, much improved performance of the PC, uh, but because this uh, 
has kept the chip much cooler than it needs to be, hopefully it'll it'll be able to run these improved overclocks for a much longer period of time than normal. So it's definitely been working really, really, really well. Knock on wood. And uh, hopefully it'll stay going that way for quite a while. When it comes to the performance of the control loop itself, uh, it's definitely been to a T where we kind of wanted it to be. It's turning on exactly at the temperatures that we were hoping that it would. It'll turn right off at the temperatures that we wanted to stop at. Uh, and even performance-wise for how fast this thing will cool down the amount of water that we have here, uh, we've actually been more than happily surprised at how fast it can get that done. Um, when the PC is kind of overclocked, uh, it, it will heat up that water pretty quick, um, but it'll also cool it down just as fast, if not much faster. Um, as a whole, everything seems to be controlling as it should be, and, um, and when it comes to other performances that we want to increase in the future, I think we're going to try to work on just getting it tidied up a little bit. I really need to find a good spot for this uh, actual, uh, the Arduino board to be housed inside of here. Along with that, just tidy up the cables a little bit too. Um, and we'd like to do a little bit of cooling for that uh, the compressor pump that's in there, because that, that's going to get pretty warm after a while. So, that's kind of what we're looking at for improvements. Exactly. So, uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll never have to see this project again. <laughs>